All right, Bella Buddies, it's time for a reseller vlog. Topic of the day is going to be vintage Barbies uh, and clothing. We're going to dig into that as we go through and pull orders. Um, there's a reason I picked this topic and we're going to talk about that as well. But hey, I just wanted to remind you guys that Rachel Strickland is having her benefit over on Whatnot on March 3rd. Here it is, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I drew that real special art piece that I showed you in my last reseller vlog. If you missed my art piece, you can go over to this reseller vlog. I'll link it down below, and you can see what I made for her to auction off for autism. All right, you guys, we're going to get started, and I do have a Whatnot link down below, so if you guys are not on Whatnot, you can join with that link and get a free $15 to shop what? Free money? Yep, that's my referral link down there. So click on that, follow me, head over to Rachel Strickland's channel, bookmark the fundraiser, and grab a piece of art from another YouTuber or reseller. All right, you guys, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. So there's one play schoolhouse that I always part out and I am like down to the end of what is left pretty much. Um, I've got these items here. What I sold are these three pieces. These are um, the railings for the porch. I sold these for $24.70 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is a tote B, and this item sold super fast. Um, I picked this up at the Goodwill bins, and they are colored pencils, and it's kind of hard to see right here. I'll pop up a screenshot for you guys. I took a best offer of $30, and I'm going to say these sold in two to three days. The tin is not perfect, and I think it's missing two pencils, but I picked these up by weight, so probably have a couple bucks in this from the Goodwill bins. There's the topic of the day that I want to talk about. And that is, let me pull it up here and screen share. This is Yard Sales and Dreams. And let me tell you, she just hit a major, major score. But what I want to talk to you about is number one, go follow her on YouTube. She is incredible. But my question for you is, would you take the chances that she's taking or would you do it differently. So let's talk about it. She hit a major vintage Barbies score. I think most of them are from the 60s. I'm going to pop up pictures for you guys right now and show you exactly what she got. She got these items from an auction house. Now, she doesn't have very much listed yet, but there was one auction that somebody brought to my attention. And we're going to talk about that. But first off, she's got nine things up. So let's go ahead and look at what she has up. And if you guys are Barbie collectors or know anything about these, you're going to know that these 1960s Barbies can go for big money. So this next lot is a lot of um, quilting supplies. And I believe a viewer purchased these items from me, but not 100% sure, but I think she purchased from me on Whatnot as well. So um, if you're watching, thank you so much. I appreciate your purchase. She also bought a little doll off of me. She paid $7 each for these vintage, awesome uh, quilting uh, items. So all four of these and then a little doll, which I'm going to show you next. Let's head into crazy town where all my totes are and we are going over to tote one and we are gonna see if we can find this little doll that she picked up. Let me uh, get the tote open here. What on earth? Whoa. My house might be falling apart. What is this? What on earth? Whoa. Where did that come from? All of this, whoa, is unfinished up here. So it must have come out of there. I'm going to have to have my husband look at that. But this was laying on top of the tote. Huh. That's interesting. Glad it was on the tote and didn't end up in my foot. That would have been very, very bad. All right. So she bought this little doll right here. 
it is a little cutie pie. I don't know what it is or what it's made by, but this sold for $7. Got another crafters item that sold, and this sold for $14.50. This came from that garage sale haul where I got all of those creative memories items that, man, I'll tell you what, creative memories just sells amazing. Now, these don't sell as quickly as some of the other things. Um, some of the punches do better than others, but uh, this one I sold those two, and then there was a little, this little circle container. So what this is, is once you punch the things out, you put your circles in here to, to hold them. So I went ahead and sold that as a lot and the buyer paid shipping on that. Okay. So these are just heads. And one thing you can see is, um, let me go in here and show you. She has it on like a pen or a pencil. And that's typically what I do to show the head. And she's showing you all of the different views, sides, front, bottom, back. When you're selling just a head, you want to show everything, all the detail of the paint. Is the lipstick still on? Is the eye makeup coming off? How are the eyebrows? Does it have green ear? All of those things are important to a collector. So she did an excellent job on her photos, okay? So let's go back here. So she has this bubble cut head and she's starting it at $5. So she could have searched comps and tried to figure out how to list this, but it looks like she is starting all of the Barbie heads at $5. And she did her homework, you guys. Look, Barbie twist and turn, blonde head only, long hair, vintage Japan with lashes, toy doll. Now, when they have like the fake real eyelashes, you definitely want to show those as well. So let's go in here. And my computer is doing that again. So I cleared my cache, I think is what it's called. And that fixed it for like a few days. And now it's doing this again. Okay, so it finally worked. But you can see here the eyelashes. So I'm guessing she's going to give us some pretty good views, side views, so that you can zoom in and see. It looks like she's got hers on like a wood stick or something. Um, she's showing the hair, the parts, the ears. All of that is so, so important. Right there, you see the eyelashes? Bam, right there. You can see they're full and in good condition. A lot of times those are all choppy and that can affect your um, how much you get for the item. So both of these Barbie heads have one bid at $5. So if somebody steals it for five bucks, that's gonna be incredible. But um, as of right now, when I'm recording, there is still three days and six hours left. I hope to get this video out tonight. So sold a weird brawl. Um, when I say weird, it's not really a weird brawl. It's just they are UK sizes. And I've talked about these before. And when I tell you, I had probably close to a thousand of these in different uh, sizes and different um, styles so i got lucky and it's the second one i pulled out this is a size 30g on the back here it tells what it is in the different um in the different countries like this is a 30g in the us and the uk this one is a 32 ff also in the usa and uk but um some of them you have to actually uh use a conversion chart to figure out what the USA size is. Let me give you an example. Hopefully 38 FF. I think that's the same. Okay. So right here, like on this one in the U S it's a 38 H and in the U O U K it's a 38 FF, but it says 38 FF on the front. Do you see what I'm saying? So people have to use the conversion chart on these. I do get some returns on these. It's kind of frustrating, but, um, all in all, these have been just incredible. They're great brawls. Um, they're uh, really well made and most people that buy them wear the brand. So usually it's okay. Sold this for $12.40 plus shipping. And I got these at a discount store called Discount Fashion Warehouse. And I purchased, like I said, tons, probably had thousands. So still selling them, still making money. Cost of goods was anywhere from a dollar to $3. I average it out at three dollars because i would pick up stuff in other categories like men's suit jackets that i would pay like five to ten for and at the end of the checkout i would take the total number of items and divide it out and that's how i would get my average cost of goods just to make it easier when i'm selling things to price my items 
Okay, this next item was a little bit tough to figure out because I'm like, I have never seen these before. I don't know what they are. And I'm about to show them to you. Oh, that way, if anybody's interested, you guys have an opportunity to go over and maybe uh, grab yourself a deal. Or if you're a collector, find something that you've really been looking for. So right here, we have the platinum white blonde wig from the 60s. Apparently, this is a rare wig. Um, I've never seen this color. It almost looks gray, but she's calling it white blonde. Two people are bidding on this. It's at $550. So everything has at least one bid right now. Uh, best friend, Titan flip hair vintage freckles, no markings from the 60s. So that's Midge. Okay, so let's look at a few more here. These do not have bids yet. I think I've I've sold this one before. I think mine was just a head also. Now, if their hair is cut and ruined, you can still sell those. People will reroute them. And so you can still sell them. They will sell. That's what I've been told. Um, uh, this is a 2D Japan Barbie. Not sure about that one. Not familiar with that. And a Sweet 16 Blonde Mod Face marked 1966. Now, one thing I do know that sometimes on Barbies, the newer ones, they will say older dates. That is a patent date, but um, that is like, it's different for the older ones. I'm not a Barbie expert, so definitely do your research if you ever find them, but you will know the difference between the older ones and the newer ones. They have a very distinct look to them. All right, so let's talk about this clothing lot that is currently sitting at a steal of a deal of $54. Oh my goodness. It's 45 pieces. And let's see if we can get in here. Let's see how many times I have to click refresh. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. So if this is happening to other people, let me know in the comments because I thought I fixed it by clearing my caches. Is that the right word? Cache? But, um, yeah, obviously not. There we go. See, it finally works. So if this is an eBay issue on the computer, this could be causing issues with people getting sales. I mean, I couldn't go into this listing for how many times did I have to hit that? That was just nonsense. Anyway, so I didn't make a ton of money on this, but these came out of a thrift store mystery box. Uh, somebody had put a heart on the item on um, Poshmark. So I went ahead and sent them an offer of $10. They accepted. So they got the discounted shipping. So my profit was like $5 and I think three cents. I'll pop up a screenshot. These were hard to identify. I had to use Google Lens. These are from Ikea and they're like little interchangeable like building toys. So came in a thrift store mystery box, cost of goods less than a dollar. So I made about four bucks on these. All right, so you guys just saw a Poshmark sale. I'm about to show you a Mercari sale. Now, I will tell you that I sell way more on eBay than I do any other platform that I sell on, but those extra sell sales coming in are awesome. Um, so I highly recommend cross-posting. I use List Perfectly. Um, there is a video down below that shows you how I use it, and it also shows you how to use the catalog. Definitely check out that video. If you watch it and it's something you think you want to try, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that's going to get you 30% off your first month. All right, so this item has been sitting for a little while. It took a little bit to sell, and it actually sold faster on Mercari. Let me get it out of here. It is a Vera Wang bracelet, and it's new with tags. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but Vera Wang makes jewelry and it's just a little cute toggle style uh colorful link bracelet did i say vera wang i meant vera bradley <laughs> i don't even know what i'm talking about vera bradley vera bradley makes all those uh pattern purses right so this sold for 23 dollars free shipping on mercari okay this next item sold for 12 dollars 40 plus shipping i dug it out of the goodwill bins and it's over in tote 29 so let's go grab it all right where tote 29 is it is over here and it is on the bottom. Like sometimes my totes, because I'm moving them around, they get a little mixed up. But this one, I always know where it is. It's always right here. It doesn't get moved around. Ooh, these are veggie tails. If you ever see these, definitely pick them up. These are actually from the Noah's Ark set and the replacement kangaroo and then the, I think it's Noah's wife and then a bird. But that's all I found. I found those in the Goodwill bins as well. So even if um, I only find a few, I definitely still pick them up because people are looking for replacements. Okay, so here's the little car I sold 
Would you have picked it up or would you have walked right past it? Buyer paid shipping on that. I think I said $12.40, right? Yep, just a little plastic car. I always, always, always am like person at the bins who is digging for all of those small toys. I love it. I love selling toys. Um, they are so easy to list. They are easy to ship. Um, people are always looking for them and they sell. That's why I like to sell toys and it's fun, but they don't break. <laughs> so I love that. Okay. Most of the time they don't break. $18 and 60 cents. And it is right here in tote 42. Yep. Right here somewhere. Right. Now, I know a lot of people use bankers boxes, and it probably would be easier for me to find my stuff if they were in a smaller tote. I personally prefer, this is just what I have, have decided to do. Um, I know that my inventory system is not for everyone, but it works for me. So now I just have to look through and find, find the little Power Ranger key. So, um... You guys can go ahead and drop comments on how you guys inventory things. Uh, I know a lot of people use the banker boxes. I personally uh, prefer something more sturdy than a banker box, but I'm also stuffing my stuff full and then I have to dig through it. So it does take me longer, but I will tell you, if I'm not holding a phone and recording, I'm much more quicker and much more efficient than I am right this moment. So let me pop off here and find this item and I will show it to you up close and in person. You guys, so this little Power Ranger went for $18.60 plus shipping and it goes with something. I don't know too much about it, but it pops open like that. It is a Power Rangers key. And I have sold quite a few of these. They sell really well, depending on what color they are, what the emblem is or the logo. I don't know what you really call it. Um, they go for different prices. So definitely look these up if you see them because some of them do really well. But I thought this one did pretty good. All right, so if you guys watch my reseller testing Bolo products, you may have seen this item because it is animated and it is a plush and I put all of those videos over on that channel. And it's a little squirrel and it's made by Jemmy, G-E-M-M-Y. I always pick them up. And this didn't sell for big money, but it did sell quick. It is in this tote right here. It's a squirrel and it sold for $12.40 plus shipping. I picked it up at the Goodwill bins. So it was probably like a buck because it's pretty lightweight and it better be here. I just listed it. It's gotta be here. There it is. It's this little squirrel. And the reason I did not increase the price on it, see how the tail is not hooked to the back? The string is, um, it got disconnected. So technically the tail should be attached to the back. Not a big deal, but it's um, a little singing squirrel. I think it's like something, you ain't getting nothing for Christmas or something like that. It's a cute little dancing, singing squirrel. Okay. Uh, Barbie, lot of 45. You can see here, there's not 45 pieces on the first page. So one thing that I would recommend is always having every single item in the first photo because look all of these items are not shown and all of these right here so these there should really be all of these in the first photo that is my opinion you may agree or disagree with me i don't know i think she put like the better items in the first photo and most people that are looking are going to go in and actually look so uh this set right here i think all of these four pieces go together these Barbie clothes are amazing. Amazing. And they're the black label. You see this little tag right here? This is what you are looking for. If you see that, look up the item. Now you can see it right there. I think all of these are black label. So let me just show you these. I have sold the apron and the little uh, pin before, but I didn't have this. And my condition was not as good. The, the condition of these items are just amazing. So if you are a Barbie collector, you need to be following Yard Sales and Dreams. I will um, bookmark her down below in the description of the video with a link to her YouTube channel and her eBay store if you want to check her out. And look at this, all nicely bagged, just incredible. Here's some close-ups of some of these items. So let's talk a little bit more about this. And again, it's going to completely vary depending on what the item is. But her pictures are fantastic. My only suggestion would be is let everybody know 
everything you're getting in the first photo so that they, um, I mean, it does say 45 pieces in the title, so that is definitely good. But this piece right here, wow. Um, so every time um, there are Barbie uh, numbers. So let's put in that American Airlines uh, outfit. We'll just go with outfit. And let me put in vintage. Okay. So let's go to solds. And we're just going to kind of comp out this one set. And I always like to search highest to lowest. This one right here is for Ken. So if you find Ken, look at that. It went for $590. Now this one is Pan American Airlines. So we are looking for American Airlines. We're looking for the outfit only. It looks like this comes with the Barbie. So here is a complete outfit. So this outfit comes with the bag, the shoes, all of these items, and it sold for $89.99. Here's another one that sold for $86. So what she could have done is sold just the four pieces and sold it as an outfit. Right now, you can see that this is number eight, I'm sorry, 984. Put that in your title. That is gonna help people find it that are searching for that outfit. Now, you can also part things out, like let's go with um, just the, the bag. So let's get rid of outfit and just put bag. And you can see, let's see if we can find one here. Did I not put Barbie in the title? What are, why are all these other weird things pulling up? That's very odd. Huh. So that one went really cheap. Now I'm going to say this person may have undersold this because they just had it out of buy it now. But I don't know. Definitely having the complete set helps. Here's the hat and the tote. So you just got to do your research and search everything. Here's just the little black purse that goes with the set. This one was an auction style. So, you know, with auction style, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It is risky business doing auctions when you start them low. All right, this next item is in tote 29. Where is, oh yeah, did I say tote 29? I already told you earlier, I always know where tote 29 is. And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. So we have the patch arrow and the patch pin and those sold as a lot. This next item has been listed for a very long time. Um, but many, many of the items sold super quick. It is this piece right here. It's the Mark's Navarone set. And I believe this is all I have left from that set. Um, I talk about a major bolo. I picked that up. And if you want to see more about it, it's on a primetime treasure hunters thrift battle that I did. And I also have some other videos about it, but I parted this out. This one piece sold for $32 plus shipping. The next item I sold is in tote 34. So we gotta get this big guy out of the way. And it is this right here. It's a drink cup. It's Sven, I think is how you say it, from uh, Disney Frozen. I got this, if I remember correctly, I dug it out of the Goodwill bin. So it has a second piece. I'm trying to find its head here. Here it is. Um, I am missing the straw. So somebody made me an offer of 10 bucks on that and I went ahead and took it. All right, this next item just sold. And I will tell you that I bought a bunch of dollhouse furniture at an estate sale, in a local estate sale. I think it's in this tote, tote 47, yes. And most of it flew out of my store. And I actually created like a little scenery for this one. And I thought it was gonna do really well. But this actually took almost two years to sell. But it sold for, actually, it took over two years to sell. It sold for $49.60 plus shipping. My cost of goods was probably less than a dollar for all of it because I got a steal of a deal on a huge box of vintage dollhouse furniture. And if I knew what I know now, I sold a huge lot of the smalls all to one person in a auction style listing, I do believe it was. This was probably you know, back when I first got it. And I probably should have parted those items out. So lesson definitely learned, but um, I'll show you what this cute little set looks like and definitely made a profit worth the wait to me. 
and we'll go on to the next item. All right, guess what I just sold? Another item from the Crazy Doll Lot that uh, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, um, she has a YouTube channel, definitely go check it out. She's a bolo finder, but she was over at Donatella Bottolino's auction and she purchased the craziest doll lot I have ever unboxed ever. And I have an unboxing of it. It looks like this. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Because you guys would probably look at that box and be like, who would spend that crazy amount of money on those items? And Donna even said, I thought it would go for like $15 or $20. Well, it didn't. And you can find out in that video what Noelle paid for it. And she sent this to me as a gift. Just sold this guy for $18.60 plus shipping. So go check out that video to see what else I got in the box and why it was such a crazy box. I'll link it down below. Now, what I always say is start your auction at what you hope to get out of your item. And if it doesn't sell, then put it on a buy it now or best offer. That is personally what I do. Now, I am excited to see what these items are going to sell for. I mean, she's starting it at $5. So that could really get a bidding war going. And Yard Sales and Dreams, Danielle, she is super smart and she is a bolo finder. So I am definitely intrigued and interested to see how she's going to list these items and how much money she is going to make. Just an incredible, incredible score. She finds amazing stuff. Go sub her up. And um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And let me know in the comments which item I sold was your favorite or leave me just a hat. Thanks for watching.